According to experts, there are a number of things you should never brush your teeth with. The list of teeth brushing no-nos ranges from seemingly innocuous products to the downright weird. Here are all the things you'll want to avoid using to clean your teeth. Baking soda has countless uses, especially in the home. One inexpensive big bag of the stuff can be used to remove odors from your refrigerator, clean your sink, remove carpet stains, and build a pretty cool science fair volcano, among many other uses. For pennies a day, you can clean and deodorize your home. But just because baking soda is an affordable and useful solution for so many other things, that doesn't make it fit for cleaning your teeth, despite what you may have heard. Dr. Emmanuel Leliev, director of New York Center for Cosmetic Dentistry, explained to Self that using baking soda to brush your teeth will actually help to remove plaque. However, he continued, it doesn't kill any bacteria, and that can actually increase cavity formation in your teeth. Baking soda can also damage tooth enamel, making it a poor replacement for traditional toothpaste. Remember when charcoal blew up on the skincare market? And of course, who could forget the activated charcoal trend that hit the food scene? The black carbon residue also made its way into toothpaste, with brands like Curaprox getting in on the hype with its black as white toothpaste, and Native with its detoxifying charcoal with mint paste. Is there actually a case to be made for using charcoal to brush your teeth? Unfortunately, experts say no. Nigel Carter, CEO of the Oral Health Foundation, revealed in a 2017 report for the foundation, the number of charcoal toothpastes and powders on the market is growing rapidly and are being marketed through insta-famous celebrity endorsements, but we believe shoppers may be being misled. Dr. Yutena Okoye, a cosmetic dentist, went on to explain to the Daily Mail, charcoal is really abrasive. It can scratch away the enamel on your teeth. The dentine underneath is softer and more yellow, so if it's exposed, not only will your teeth be more sensitive, they will also be less white. And lost enamel is forever. It will never completely grow back. In 2014, a holistic practice called oil pulling picked up steam, with people claiming it could do everything from whiten teeth to prevent diabetes. Of course, the simple practice of swishing coconut oil in your mouth for up to 20 minutes wasn't really some kind of secret scientific miracle. As you can probably guess, many of the claims surrounding oil pulling were unsubstantiated, even though this trend wasn't exactly a new practice, dating back as far as 5,000 years old and often credited as an ancient Indian remedy. Considering oil pulling is a 20-minute endeavor and brushing your teeth takes just two minutes, you can see why oil pullers would eventually convert to coconut oil-based toothpastes. However, coconut oil, no matter how it's used, is still not a real solution for your daily oral hygiene, so it's best to never brush your teeth with it. According to the American Dental Association, there's just no real proof it works. If you're not a fan of the many spearmint or other mint-flavored toothpastes, it's easy to see the appeal of cinnamon. The spicy toothpaste will still freshen your breath while tasting entirely different. However, if you brush your teeth with a cinnamon-based toothpaste every day, it could eventually lead to trouble. This is especially true if you make your cinnamon toothpaste at home, as you may be using far too much cinnamon than is good for your oral health. According to Self, too much cinnamon can cause a condition called cinnamon-induced oral mucosal contact reaction, or contact stomatitis, which is far from pleasant. The symptoms of this cinnamon-induced condition are a burning sensation in the mouth along with red and white patches and other oral lesions. Well, at least there's always bubblegum flavor, right? No form of sugar is easy on the teeth. Science has demonstrated time and again that certain harmful bacteria can digest sugar and produce harmful acid right in your mouth. In order to get rid of this bacteria, the answer is simple. Brush your teeth. However, there are some natural and DIY toothpastes that contain honey. The thinking is that honey has antibacterial properties, which is true. However, you still shouldn't brush your teeth with honey or honey-based products. As Water Tower Dental Care wrote, since honey is mostly made up of sugar, you shouldn't consider it good for your teeth. Bacteria love sugar, whether it's from honey or somewhere else, and will use the energy they get from sugar to multiply on your teeth. Furthermore, because of the sticky, sugary nature of honey, you should always brush your teeth after consuming it. Now, imagine if your toothpaste was made from honey. You'd just be spreading more sugar on your teeth. If you think you can dip a toothbrush in some bleach and safely brush your teeth, think again. Surprisingly, it's much more common than you might think. 
Dentist Matthew Lloyd told Healthcare Learning that he's seen many patients try to whiten their teeth at home with bleach, explaining they're so focused on getting whiter teeth that they don't consider the damage which can be done. Unlike what the pros use, household bleach can damage the soft tissue in your gums, which causes them to recede. Lloyd continued, Once that damage is done, you can't repair it. If you have a hole in your teeth or thin tooth enamel, then it might get inside your tooth and cause the nerve to die off. When that happens, you'll have to get a root canal. Not fun. Whitening, even when done professionally and safely, is not the same thing as cleaning your teeth. In fact, Matthew Messina, a dentist and spokesman for the American Dental Association, told the Washington Post that whitening works best when your mouth is already very healthy. Teeth should be clean, with all of the plaque and tartar removed ahead of time. Give plaque a whack every day! Want a white smile? Avoid foods that stain your teeth, like coffee, berries, and pasta sauce. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more list videos about your favorite stuff are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.